lot of time elephant chain people. At the elephant of mine doesn't make trouble to me, but one human can make a lot of trouble. But by someone blind, both eyes, she still have the hope. She still carry on. She still want to live in. Do you think wild animals like elephant could help in bringing good behaviors in humans? You think elephant can bring good behavior to human? Is yes, if really human uh, attention on that, we change so many people who come and visit our project. We have many people who come and rehab. One time, I have a celebrity came to our project. Mm -hmm because of they have a, a program, they pay a lot of money, and they, dis, they, dis, they become a stress. And then we have someone that contact us, like uh, the doctor. Uh, like can we have uh, our client to spend time with your, your elephant because of she have a stress and she have very, the most wealthy in, in that country. Mm -hmm. So I said, I want to know why is you take these people because she wants to spend time with your elephant and truly like herself. I said, okay, bring her in with me. I take her walk with elephant and I show her, you see that my elephant, both eyes blind. This elephant, she lost her ear. She even cut her ear and she couldn't even hear. This elephant broken hip. And I said, can you see something? She said, no, I just see her, her handicap. I said, yes, she lost thing, but not just by herself, damage herself, mm -hmm. but by someone blind, both eyes. She still have the hope. She still carry on. She still want to live in. Why of even herself, mm -hmm. why she have alcohol, why she have drug? These things she put herself because we focus about ourselves. Everything is about us. We feel that is we need more attention. We feel that we don't have enough. We feel that someone must attention for us. And this kind of thing, elephants have teach us. They just want to live, they want to forgive. The elephant that get abused badly by men, you know, they open their heart to, to receive our love and they also forgive us. Elephants never forget, but they forgive. They mm. always open the heart. But human, sometimes we, we block ourselves. And we, when we, especially we focus on ourselves, and we just think that it's my, it's mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. you have to go. On. I must be important. A lot of time, elephants change people. So, from do this. you think that anim uh, wild animals are better than human beings? Elephant better, oh, I think <laughs> much better. <laughs> but I have compared what I have hundred elephant compare hundred. If ele one elephant make a, a trouble. It's not as much compared. At the elephant of mine doesn't make trouble to me, but one human can make a lot of trouble. True. Because it's, they follow the rule. They have their, they have their nature rule, but tie, uh, not tie, but humans so many, many tricks, you know? Sometimes you hardly, hardly reach. But animals are very strong like this. They, they, they follow nature, nature rule. When they love someone, they also use the use the scent, you know. They they have they have no no trick at all. And I I think I rather if I work with animal and human, I rather work with animal. Wonderful, yeah. Um, okay, I have a couple of two more questions, quick questions to ask yeah. you. Uh, children who s mostly stay in cities who never get to interact with wild animals. Uh, do you think they miss an opportunity to know wild animals? Yes. You know, uh, before I don't understand about children in the city. And this is, I think the school have to change the program. Many children in city is they lost not just only opportunity to meet with wild animals, but they lost opportunity to learn about nature. And this is the parent, teacher, or even government have to look about that. It's the time, you know, our world will stay only if children, they are the future of us. 
you have to bring them to understand for nature and wildlife. If we want to bring our world to be more you know, uh, sustainable, or you want to save wildlife or animal, uh, wildlife, animal and environment, you must bring the cross to this part. And program of the school have to put on that. Mm -hmm. And especially if you want to bring them to understand why animal, you know, you have to bring them to the right message. Can't just only bring them to the zoo, that's a wrong message. Or the parent will bring the children to go and see animal circus because the children is like the children very naive and innocent. Mm. Whatever you guide them and gu and direct them, they will take that is the right direction. We are parents, we are adults, we have to write them, direct them to the right way. So I think it's very important uh, that children in the city must stay close to the nature and somehow school and parents have to give opportunity for them to learn about that. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, see, government is supposed to be for the people. And in a country like us, which is a democratic country, and they should listen to the voice of the people. That's why the government has been elected. So why do you think the government doesn't support the good things like this? You know, benefit, first of all. First of all, why the government doesn't? The government, some, when I talk, when people ask me who chose education the most, I think government is always. The government is many countries are conservative. They protect benefit more than environment. And you know, it's the people who damage environment. When I stay in the Asian country, I work with many countries. The people, the worst part is government official. If they have a store, if they have a wrong rule or policy, they are the one who damage and destroy the most. And like a animal in the zoo, animal trade, it's impossible that is the person private like you and me mm -hmm. to go to trade animal if the government don't sign. Corruption have the worst reason to damage our planet everywhere, not just only uh, Asian, even Europe, America, in every every continent that is is corruption is having you know a lot of trouble for all. So I think government I can't I can't just say that all government be good, you know. And we have to first thing change government mm -hmm. and change policy. Change their mind, educate them. Okay. Wonderful. I, I'm sure I'm I had known about Mother Teresa and she made a lot of changes to the world. So I'm meeting one more mother here, <laughs> Mother you. Lake, who is making difference to the wild animals. I'm sure this moment is going to take forward and make difference to the world and make us uh, give us a better world and a happier world in future. Thank you, Miss Lake. Thank nice you very much. You. Thank you. I should say Mother Lake. Thank, thank you. <laughs>